Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today we are going to be looking at big old Inuarashi or Dogstorm. This one cost me 1000 yen. And you can see that this is him in his Land of Wano outfit. This came out at the Wano stage. And of course, he is boxed. So we're going to see another unboxing, which recently with the WCF figures, of course, we have been going through all the unboxed ones. First of all, we still have a whole bunch of unboxed ones, but we are now slowly going through some of the boxed ones. There you can see the top of it does say 1000 yen. It says it's from Mandrake, that's where I bought it. And it says unopened WCF figure, and doesn't really say anything at the bottom other than the barcode. So let's go ahead and open him up. Of course, if there's anything wrong with him, it'll be a little bit too late for me to take him back because uh, I am no longer in Japan, obviously. And this big old grand cat is a big old Scottish grand cat, so it is a little bit of a trip to walk to Japan. It would take a big old grand cat like me at least 15 steps. So let's see exactly what it looks like now. So interestingly, um, our our cat viper, our Nekomamushi, uh, had six of the Bandai points, and this Inurashi is worth five Bandai points. I don't know what determines how much points they're worth. But there you can see this little five in the top right corner there, and with our Nekomamushi, see there it says six. So let's go ahead and open up our big old doggo. Slide him out. Oh, uh, maybe they're all upside down. And there he is. There is one big old doggo. Now, in the last video with big old Nekomushi, I asked the Grand Cat Grand Fleet out there, which is our better? Are you a Cato person or are you a doggo person? Do you prefer the Catos or do you prefer the doggos? And in this in this video, I'm gonna ask the same, but maybe the last one will have a bit of a a bias towards the cat, as being the Neko Mishi is a big old cat. And maybe now is the time for all of you dog lovers to stand up and unite and let the world know how much you love your puppers. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Inurashi. So we're going to put the little stand in his back, just like so. It's a very, very cool doggo. Of course, Nehomishi and Inurashi, the leaders of the Mink tribe. Or at least they were. And there we are. There is our very, very cool looking Inurashi. Wearing his sunglasses and, of course, having his Akatsuki style hat. And, of course, his wonderful, wonderful cape. And his very, very elegant style of clothing. And that's going to be it for this video, folks. In the next video, we're going to be taking a look at the Sulong version of Inurashi. And then we will be comparing the Inurashi and the Nekomamushis and taking a look at all four of them together and seeing how they all look. But that's going to be it for this little video, folks. I really hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these glorious little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.